Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome on stage, all the way from Israel, the incomparable Jonathan Razel. Here it is, Cape Town. It's even better than Joburg. <laughs> so we're gonna have some more time for dancing. 
Maybe later. Maybe we can separate place for women and men to dance. So this is a special Shabbat, as you all know. Shabbat project. Who made chunt? Who made some chunt? I want to know. Who made kishkis? A lot of Shabbat is about the food you eat, about your soul. So I want to start this concert with a song for Shabbat. you guys a song because I see you guys are great singers so just to open up the evening just a more mic please the 
song is talking about the fact that we're all here together. Special thing about Jewish people, you know, I'm from Israel, some America, people from all the world, when they come together like one big family. What you're gonna do is you're gonna repeat after me. I just do the first part of the melody. So good again. Baruch Hashem Todah. Oda pam, oda pam, oda pam, oda pam. Hine mato, umanai, shevet achim. Gam yachad, two, three. Hine mato, umanai, shevet achim, gam yachad. Amen. 
Have some more time for dancing. I don't know what to do. We'll dance soon. And this next song. This whole world being like one human being. Pakati <laughs> Eden. שסובב אותי, אחד מאין סוף מאדם, חיות עצים פרחים ושמיים אהההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההה
אחר פתאום התגלה דם צועק מן האדמה אחי מוטמים אוזניים זה בין הצלילים, בין המילים ומעל הכוכבים וגם נמצא קרוב אליי Calling to me to choose life Not to try to hide or run away That before the sun comes down Maybe a new light will shine Maybe we will But it's here close to me in my heart Calling to me to choose life Not to try to run around the way So that before the sun comes down Maybe a new world will shine I need all those kids to sing with me. I need... Okay, I just want all those kids to sing with me, these beautiful kids. Our future, our family. I had to leave my little children to come here. I just called them before the concert. My daughter Khani said, Tati, can you buy me an elephant's tooth? So maybe if you guys know where I can buy one. Let's 
Let's hear the children. Stop saying hi to yourself, sing. I just want to hear just the kids, just the kids. Stop looking at yourself. Sing. Sing. No, 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 not me. It's not about me. It's about you. I love you too. Don't love me too much. Sing. Sing for Hashem. Till you hear our voice. And end this long, 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 everlasting Golos. Let's hear these beautiful Haley Getaire. Holy kids. Just one, give me one. Can you close the camera a minute? Can you close the camera a minute? Just sing. One more time, one more time, one more time. Ve'akadosh ba'ahu matzile All the empires are gone, but our Jewish beautiful kids are still singing in the name of Hashem.
on the on the violin, Waldo. If there's gonna be dancing, please dance separately, men and women. For the Shem in Barach. Guys over there, girls over there, please. That's how we are, the Jewish people. The nation of sanctity, of Tusha. We're the holy people. We are the holy people. That's why we're here. We'll dance more at the end. You know, one of the things that makes it so special when you make music, create music, is that it's like sending a letter to somebody, throwing a letter into the wind sending a message in a bottle on the ocean. Sometimes you meet somebody through music that you sent out into the world. You meet somebody you would never have met. And um, this album that I put out about a year ago, Ben Atzlilim, helped me meet some people that I would probably never met in my life. I'm thankful and grateful to Hashem. Uh, one of these people these individuals that I've met. And uh, I don't know, from my side, it's a bit shocking the, how close I feel to him. 
and uh, I hope it's mutual. And also as an amazing, amazing musician and singer. So uh, uh, we had the honor and um, he agreed to come, him and his wife, all the way from Joburg. But we're going to have him also in Israel, Bezat Hashem, soon, when Mashiach comes. Um, I'm proud and honored to invite a new friend. Daniel Kopel, better known as Danny K. everybody. Uh, to answer Jonathan's question, the feeling is more than mutual. In fact, I, this is the second time I've been on stage with, with Jonathan. We did a, a show together in Johannesburg, and I told him, and I told the audience that night, that I've never in the course of 12 years of being a professional musician ever phoned up an artist and said, please, can I sing with you on a show. And Jonathan was the first person I ever did that to. Uh, such was my respect for him uh, and his talent. And we're very lucky to have you here, so thank you, Jonathan. So uh, we should probably sing for you right now. Right.
I think you should think about it as a career, Danny, like singing <laughs> professionally, what do you think? <laughs> so just because, actually, what we're going to do now is something very special. As I said, I, I felt, uh, I love Danny's voice, and I, we met at his house last time I was here in Johannesburg, at their house, sorry. <laughs> and um, I played Danny a song that I wrote that I never put out, and was never recorded. The song is from a prophecy of Jeremiah. It's one of those most amazing verses. In Hebrew it says that Hashem is going to come and pick us one by one and bring him back to him. Hashem is going to go at the end of the days and knock at everyone and say hi. And so this is going to be a world premiere here in Cape Town. called Corner of the Sky, and I'm happy to sing it with Danny. the sky I will come I will come my children bring you back to me if you'll be far away in the corner of the sky I will come one by one my children bring you back to me I will bring you back, bring you back to me And I will bring you back, bring you back to me And I will bring you back to me From yourself, just from yourself, yeah. I will come, I will come, my child, bring you back to me, and I will bring you back, bring you back to me. I will bring you back, bring you back to me, and I will bring. And 
That's the first time we ever did it. <laughs> okay, so uh, <laughs> Jonathan's been very kind to allow me to do uh, a so one of my songs. <laughs> so I think it's a song that's really relevant to what everyone's here to do. And to try and achieve, and it's about knowing the power of every single person. And it's not about, you know, being famous or being rich or being a person of stature. Everyone has the individual power to change the world. And that's what the song is about. And uh, if you know it, which you may, sing along with us.
לא נשב בשקט ולא נסע יש לך הכל, תנסה להבין את זה, תעשה שינוי בעולם. גם אברהם אבינו שינה את העולם, היה אדם אחד. אנחנו היהודים רוצים לשנות את העולם מלכות That, that, that was, wasn't planned, by the way. <laughs> you disagreed, is it? <laughs> no, it was your idea, actually. I loved it. It was my idea, but we didn't know if we were going to do it. But I'm glad he did that. <laughs> I, was just, I was just thinking when Danny was speaking about the power of every individual, this Parsha, this Parsha is Lech Lecha. It's the Parsha when our forefather, Avraham Avinu, decided to change all what he saw around him. That power, that idea of not accepting what is, not accepting the lie, not accepting cruel things, that idea of leaving your home for the truth, our grandfather, he taught us that. And he was willing to die for it. And I think there's something special about us also. And many other people in the world too have learned how to make a change by listening to the truth and fighting for it and even dying for it. Uh, we have another surprise tonight. Um, we wanted to sing a song. We were missing another voice. And so we heard about this amazing singer. <laughs> so we started with the alphabet. We went through Abraham A, Baruch B, Yochanan C, and we ended by Choni G, and here he is. So the truth is we're going to 
This is only in the middle of the show. We're going to be back together. But this song was a special song. It's a special song for me. And um, after I, after the first rehearsal we had, I felt it was appropriate that we'll sing it together. This song is a prayer that I wrote actually in the hospital, sitting next to my daughter, Rivki. And um, then there's a song of prayer, a song of hope. One of the prayers of David Melech of King David. I'm sure he had, uh, as you know, many, many difficult times of his life. And he also taught us this lesson of hoping, like not accepting, but in a different angle, hoping that things will be better, and believing in Hashem, that He will change, He will give us... <sighs> Mashiach, He will. Amen. And uh, I finished the song... We had three girls, and then after that, we had a son, Baruch Hashem. While I was in the hospital, we had to move a few floors up. And while my wife was giving birth, so I, that's one of our family's minhagim, is to come with a guitar to the labor room. I'm sitting while my wife is screaming. <laughs> and uh, so while the baby was coming out, so while the son was coming out, so I finished the song, so the midwife turned around and said, what's this song? I never heard it. I said, it's just being born.
States, going from Philadelphia to West Virginia, West Virginia, so this is the part you have to learn, ready, one, two, you're going to sing along with me, Time I give you a sign, I want you guys to sing that part of the song. So basically, I was on a train, I need some more guitar. On the way to West Virginia, it was a long train to take, about 12 hour voyage. And on that train, there was a special part of the train where you could get something to drink, something to eat. In that car of the train, there was a group of people coming back from college, and they came prepared. They had bottles of beer, things to drink, a stack of cards. Ah! guys, it was especially a humongous guy, kind of quarterback guy, 
six foot four, very big. And he was, I think he came already drunk. And he started playing and using the best vocabulary in the world. The problem was that when I wanted to use the restrooms, I had to go through that cart. And he noticed me. Every time I passed by, he looked at me. Ah, ah, yo, 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 yo. So what could I do? Here and there I had to go by. And he was looking at me every time. And so the train was going on and on. It became dark. People started leaving, getting off at their destination. And it was already dark outside. And people left the train, and it was pretty much me and two other people. And this guy, this drunk, humongous guy in that cart. One, two, three. Ah! Whoa! No, 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 no! So I sat down in my place and I started learning, reading. And suddenly the worst thing happened. This guy got up, stood up, and came and sat next to me. Two, three, four. Ah! What could you do? What does a Jew do? He says, Shema Yisrael. I knew that was probably the end. Suddenly he looked at me and said, What are you reading? I said, A book. He said, In what language? I said, In Hebrew. So he said, One, two, three. Ah! So he said to me, are you Jewish? I said, I'm Jewish. He said, you're Jewish. I said, I am. So he said, dude, what does God want for me? I said, what? He said, you know, I'm not Jewish, but I never met a Jew before, and now that you're here, maybe you can tell me, what does God want from me? And I felt like shivers down my back. Remember that moment? That combination of viewing us as a certain kind of messenger or Anyway, it changed my life, and I came home, and I said, I have to learn what I need to know in life, what next time maybe I can answer. You know, we're not about telling people to be Jewish. We're not about telling people to do anything. We're not a missionary religion. But it changed something in me. Suddenly I knew that I have that I've been sent maybe here to this world. Speak for Hashem.
So I want to call out our second guest. I want to call Khani G. He's going to sing a new song that is for this album that he's working on. It's dedicated, by the way. This song is dedicated to Rabbi Vadya Yosef Zatzal. We're in the Shiva, or one of the Gdoilim, one of the biggest teachers and rabbis who changed the lives of so many people in Israel, who brought a lot of happiness and also welfare to hundreds of thousands of families. There were a million people at his funeral. I had to leave. My plane was at six, uh, 8.30 in the evening. The Vaya started at 6, so I couldn't attend. So we're going to sing this song. Honey, say a few words. I also want to dedicate the song to my grandmother, who uh, unfortunately passed away the last month. Right. And um, we had an open house in, in New York to many South Africans as well. Uh, this song, while it has a, it's, it's like a yearning for the temple to be rebuilt, it's got a positive aspect besides the lamentations of it from Echa.
The next song is a wedding song, and uh, because he's a good dancer, so we're going to sing it together. Two, one, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Yare Yehuda Ovechuto Yushalayim Kosaslon Kosim Chako Chatam Vekokala Odi Shama Yare Yehuda Ovechuto Yushalayim Kosaslon He's going to be back. We're almost, almost there. Uh, I want to use this opportunity to thank so many people behind this special evening. You know, we're, we're here for an hour, for two hours with the people working about months and months and months. We also came here two days ago, three days ago, and practiced yesterday, the day before. We all flew out here. First of all, I'd like to introduce this amazing, amazing, amazing South African, Israeli, uh, uh, Zulu, whatever, what, what, uh, blend that we have here uh, on the violin, on the fiddle, Waldo. <laughs> Forgot their last names. Give me one of those. <laughs> Waldo Alexander. We have on the saxophone flute and all kinds of different kinds of woodwinds, 
Barry Sneeman. There's also somebody special who's been working behind the scenes, months and months, putting all things together, and he also is playing here tonight. Special, special friend and genius musician, Dan Palais on the drums. We have, uh, as I said, a special treat. Give us one of those. Give me one of those. Pasha Levisi, better known as Levi. On the keyboard, as we've mentioned, we heard him giving an amazing Chico Ress solo. Yochi Ress. <laughs> On the guitars, Jonathan Sklar. <laughs> and on the bass, Pinchas Skler. Um, so I want to thank the congregation of Chabad of the West and uh, obviously Rabbi Darren and his wife Zisi for putting this thing together. Um, I was just there for a few minutes, but I want to thank the family that's going to have me here for the rest, hopefully, if they accept me back at their home. The Zinmans, I want to ask, uh, answer Tyron and Tsipora. <laughs> I want to thank Gearhouse for the equipment. Um, I want to thank the, the West Coast and Sina Academy, Rabbi Brett, who's going to be learning with me, Bezat Hashem. Uh, production, David Fleminger. Um, and we're going to end uh, before the encores, if you're interested, with a song called Bruchim, uh, which means you are blessed. Uh, I was many, many years I wanted to compose music for these words. Um, just the idea of somebody standing in front of people and saying you are blessed and God will add more to what you have. This song is dedicated to uh, the rabbis and the Ribbitsons across Cape Town and uh, to Torah studies of Herzliya, Phyllis Joel, Sina Academy, Cape Town Torah, Torah, Town Torah High. Is that correctly? Okay. You guys are great. So, you ready guys? Oh. I need Herschel. Where's Hershey? One, two. One, two, three, four. Applause for Hershey.
Thank you very much. So, as I mentioned before, this is a special night where I think for the first time in the world or in the Jewish history, a community of a state of a it's coming together to keep Shabbos together. The Shabbos project, correct. And then right before I was about to go on stage, I got a phone call from Chief Rabbi, sending regards to all, telling about hundreds and hundreds of stories of people remembering our covenant, this present that we have. So I thought it'd be appropriate that we start. This is called Leil Shishi, the night before Shabbat, with one of the most beautiful songs all together. Ah, ah, ah. 
You had to sing before. You had to sing. Uh, that was dedicated by the way to Eric and Shaila. And the entire Mishpacha for beautiful Ishin Nachis from their children. And uh, the next, next song is dedicated to Ivan and Leonette. Leonette, please God. The song is Visham that we sing. A Pesach should bring beautiful merits to your mother and your father, blessed memory, and brachas for your entire family. Somebody has a 75th birthday also, I think. Eric, so Mazel Tov, Mazel Tov. I want all the kids to come here, sit on the stage over here, right in front of us. One minute, one minute, one, one minute. Just the kids. Hey. Hey, you guys, hey, you guys. Just the kids, just the kids.
beginning. Where's the plug? Here's our future. Nobody. Sing with me, kids. But nobody can win us because we're still here. 4,000 years. 